What up dogs, Steve here and to the face, to the face. So today I have some sort of like a review video for you guys that are wondering how awesome something is and today it's gonna be how awesome is Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. I um, myself are, there's probably a lot of uh, types of me out there right now that are, have never played Metal Gear Solid. I've seen a few people play it a little bit. I remember like Xcal uh, playing it many many years ago when there was like a new one out and I, I didn't really understand the charm with the game since I had never played the series before uh, and then when this game came out I got lucky to get like a review code for it I didn't even install it until like four days after it was actually out um, but then I decided after watching uh, Summit stream it I was like this game actually looks really cool and I think it, it can be a game that I can play a lot. Uh, so I installed it, I started playing it, and after maybe two hours into, after the first long cutscenes, but I didn't really know what was going on, uh, one of my mods on my chat, he sent me a link so I can read up on some of the backstory because I decided I'll probably never play one of the older Metal Gear Solid, uh, but I wanted to know what was basically was going on. Um, so you are a cult snake, which is, a really like legendary uh, icon in the gaming um, world so it's really cool that I finally know who he is uh, you're fighting for like diamond darks which are basically mercenaries and you're fighting against cypher without spoiling that much if you're about to start playing the game and the cypher are basically the bad guys and there's some supernatural things going on here and there and some of the missions are not only super hard and epic but it's also like just mind-blowingly cool things because um, it is from Konami and those guys seem to have like an amazing imagination. I don't remember what the guy who's actually like directing the game, but he seems to be really, really good at what he does. Um, so I have put down, let me actually check how many hours I played on it. Um, I, I played 13 hours and I'm 13% into the game so basically on hours like a percent pretty much but i have to restart sometimes when i've died or messed up or played like a really hard uh, special ops like an extra side mission uh, ops and i just couldn't fix it because i was probably too low rank uh but the game is sure you can run in guns blazing which i kind of like doing sometimes when you have the opportunity because uh, but if you do that on some of the missions, you're going to get absolutely wrecked and destroyed. And you can't do it on uh, some of them. So it is a sneaking game where you're supposed to basically sneak up on people. You can stun them. You can send them away with a little parachute. Um, and most missions so far has basically been extracting people. Um, or you can like go get a little uh, blueprint to design a new gun and stuff. There's some parts of the game which I think is kind of unnecessary, which is basically like your base control where you have to get dudes to like a dude colony where they have to build, you know, a certain part of your uh, mother base so you can do extra stuff, which is not really necessary in the game in my opinion, but I still think it's quite fun to kind of SimCity it up with like getting more dudes from my dude colony and then they build more medical things so I can make a sniper that stuns people. So that's basically my goal. Um, and I would say even if you never play this game, I would definitely recommend playing it. Um, I want to beat it. And with that in mind, I played 13 hours. So I probably have like a hundred more hours in my uh, pace to finish the game, which is Usually it feels like when you pick up like a big book and you start reading it like this book is so good But I kind of want to finish it. So I'm finished I'm actually for the first time not really feeling this with Metal Gear I just feel like you know what I'm gonna beat this game no matter how long it takes so um, that's basically My like review on it. I think if you never played it you can still play it There's uh, like you can read up on the backstory and everything and if you already played it the Metal Gear Solid when you have this game. Um, so the last thing I did yesterday before I switched to Counter-Strike on stream was to get a gunsmith. So now I can finally customize my guns. And just putting some skins and shit like on my gun just felt like, yep, I love this game. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the stream. I'm going to keep on streaming this as long as you guys want to see it. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Uh, yeah, it was probably not so games today, but I'm just gonna spoil it. Hello, man. Hello. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. We got 
episode. I watched it.